What is it, you back in another video? In today's video, man, I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I've been trying to fix my schedule, and I've been up all night, and it's hard to record while I'm up all night. But uh, I've been kind of working on this banger a little bit for you guys. Um, I wanted to do this just simply. I was going to do it originally just for Black Ops 6 and what I wanted for that. Um, and then I was going to not do that, and I was going to do for Modern for 3 and what I want going forward for the last couple of seasons. Um, but. Uh, I'm just going to match it together like a normal person would. Um, so we're going to go over the things I want to see in the, in the future of Call of Duty. Um, and what I hope they change and alter and they fix. Um, and there's going to be a lot of hate things in here. Uh, like, things that are driven by hate. So just know that before going into this, there's some things in here that I'm going to be very aggressive about. Um, but, you know, it's just for the betterment of uh, our community as a whole. Going forward... Um, I would like to make one of these videos like, every couple months, just kind of seeing what things do get changed, what things don't get changed, and uh, I thought it could be, a, could be a fun thing to kind of to think if we are making an impact or not. So, um, for Modern for 3 side of the video, we're going to start that first. So, the things I would like to see in this game would be uh, better camos uh, going forward. They've been doing a great job with it so far. Um, going forward, I want to see more animated camos. I want to see... Brighter camos, camos that stick out. Uh, I, I'm, I'm about halfway done with the one trick grind. I'm 22 guns out of 50 for the one trick grind, by the way. I just finished SMGs last night. Um, so now we have all the SMGs, all the ARs, and all the battle rifles done. So now we're working on the shotties, and then we're going to do snipers, I think, after that. Or maybe we'll do LMGs, I'm not too sure. And then we'll be going on to the next version, or next set. But going forward for NW3, I really hope that we get some better camos because uh, there's some camos in here that are extremely weak. Like there's a 27 day camo where you have to log into Warzone for 27 days and hit a button. And um, I'm not going to lie, bro, it's kind of not even worth going for it. So I, I don't even know if I'm going to go for it. I might go for it. Just, you know, one. I've played just one game of, of Warzone, so maybe it might be worth to just hop on, play a match, and then leave. But. Um, I also want to see more guns going forward. I know we have leaked for Season 4. We have the Car Gate, the STG, the Spaz-12, the Bow, a Shovel, another melee weapon, and I believe there's also another rifle. It's like an AMR-9. An AR-9. Um, it kind of looks like an M4 a little bit, like an M4 and a... Uh, Kind of like an M4 and a Honey Badger had a baby, kind of. It kind of looks very similar to that. Um, so we have a bunch of weapons coming Season 4, and I'm really happy to see that we're getting more and more guns every season. That's the way it should be. Because, see, this is the thing I bitched about before with the whole um, seasonal updates, right? These whole these seasonal uh, seasons, right? Is they're not giving us more content. They're just giving us content spread out over a large amount of time. Okay? Um... In the past, we've had sometimes up to 50 DLC weapons in a single game, right? Uh, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, uh, World War II, World War II, especially World War II, um, are all, and AW sort of, AW had a lot of DLC guns, um, are all games that can be proved that you don't need a seasonal update to have more content. Currently, at the current moment, the updates that we're getting here on Call of Duty. Now, not minus this game and not minus last uh, last year's, but from Vanguard to 2019, those games really struggled with, we're releasing content, but you're only getting like three weapons uh, an update, two weapons an update, okay? And so, I hope going forward that we see an increase in weapons going forward. So, um, right now, this game has made it pretty much the normal now for five guns or so every update. Um... Uh, we have this season, we're having five, uh, and then we have next season, it's going to be five, it looks like. Um, and I'm really hoping going forward that stays, because I really I really do think that's the best strategy for um, just everyone's sanity. What type of weapons? Well, that's up to the imagination. I think they could do anything. I, I do want to see some remakes from AW, IW, Black Ops 2, uh, maybe Black Ops 1, Modern for 2, OG, 2000, uh, the 2009 version. Uh, I'm on for 3 the OG. I do want to see guns from those games, but at the same time, I do want to see some new stuff, man. There's so many new guns out there in the market in the IRL that they can go for. Um, you got things like the, the you know, Chris Vectors, new versions of Chris Vectors, and the new Galils. Um, 
and there's tons of new guns. Uh, Brandon Herrera just finished his AK-50. That would be an insane gun to have in this game. That'd be dope as fuck to be able to run with an AK as a 50 cal. Um, that would look sick. Um, so there's tons of new styles of guns out there. You guys can literally pull up gun manufacturers and what they've made in recent years, the last like five years. And there's hundreds, if not thousands, of new designs and, bl and blueprints for different guns that they could go for that we haven't seen in COD before. So that would be really, really cool. I do know we have the new military rifle for the United States military in this game already. It is the Bass P. I would like to see uh, either its correct ammo type added in or a new version of it added in that's going to be classified as an assault rifle that would be more accurate to the united states military version um because the he's not 100 percent accurate um but that would be uh, pretty sick too uh maps going forward i really hope we don't get no remakes unless they're not from the slow movement era and so what i mean by that is i do not want to see a map being remade from ghost back okay i'm sorry the Ghost game from Ghost Bat to like Black Ops 1, 2, Model for 2, 3, all that. Um, those maps are not designed for this type of movement. This movement is too fast for those maps. They play like shit. Every map on MW2 right now, or on MG3, sorry, that is from the original MW2, plays like absolute dog shit in this game. Um, I don't think I've found anyone that actually thinks they play good. And usually people that think they play good are the usual ones camping. So it doesn't matter to them. I want to see fast-based remaster movement maps, so anything from Infinite, Advance, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4 even, um, being remade, uh, but that's about it, okay? I don't want to see, um, I don't want to see the, the old school maps being remade. If not, if you're not going to remaster those maps, I want to see new maps, man. I've actually been really in fucking enjoying the new maps on this game. Uh, like, the last couple of DLC maps they dropped were pretty fucking fire. I'm not going to cap, alright? They're pretty fucking good. Uh, and if they're really lazy, such uh, such Emory games, you could just remake a lot of the MW2 maps from last year. A lot of those maps played actually pretty well when we had them uh, on here to play. Uh, they play well. Like, like, like the Hotel, I think it is, plays extremely freaking well on this map, on this game. So, that could be fun to add that back, you know, and to add other maps into rotation as well. So, that could be cool. Uh, going forward, I want to see more perks and more vests, man. They, they promised us more perks and vests. Uh, this is the first season we actually got a few vests and a few perks, which is nice to see. I really hope next season they continue with that strategy because I really want to see as much content as possible um, in this game. Uh, this is going to be a game that we're probably going to be playing a lot over the next coming years, um, especially if Black Ops Call 4 or Go Black Ops 6, whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, is a failure, right? If it's if it's not good, which is Treyarch, so it probably will be a failure. Um, now. That's pretty much everything content-wise that I want to see forward. There could be, obviously, there's little things like attachments I want to see brought back from old gods, etc., etc. But um, the main part of everything um, that I wanted to see uh, is, is back. So, well, maybe one thing. There's maybe one thing that I really want in this game that I think this game needs in this. And that is, and this is going to probably shock some people, because I don't think many of you guys know what the fuck this even is, because a lot of people didn't even know this existed during the time it existed. But that is the paintball mode from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, bro. We need that back in Call of Duty. That needs to be a feature in the game more, uh, being able to turn your bullets and your blood into paintball effects. Um, that looks super sick, and it adds a little bit of goofiness to the game that it really needs. it really needs right now. It really does. Now, something I want to look forward to coming in the future CODs, including Black Ops 6. Obviously, first on the list is going to be Classic Prestiges. I want to see them back. I do not. I'm sick of seeing these seasonal prestiges. I want to grind to level 1,000 again. I do. I want to grind that grind. I want to do the work and get to 1,000. That's what I want to fucking do, okay? Um, I want to see no SPMM and the UMM. I know it's a pretty hard thing to ask in this day and age, but I really want to fucking see no SBMM and no EOMM. Um, there's a lot of, of, of the times in this game where I would be addicted. Uh, I would want to play every day. I'd be happy if I could just not deal with those two things. Um, I really do miss it. I miss being able to have fun on the game and still perform well. Um, going forward for Black Ops 6, I really want to see them not remaster maps. Uh, I really want them to hammer out the originals. Um, the problem with Call of Duty, and I think why maps have gone so bad over the last couple of years, is because they got way too comfortable in just remastering maps, right? They got way too comfortable in that they became the new norm for them. Um, 
and they just got way too comfortable with it. Okay? Um, they need to get back in the hang of that and the habit of actually making remakes. Uh, or not remakes, sorry, originals. Not remakes. Jesus. Also, new weapons. I, I, I want to see brand new weapons. I do want to see some classics, but I don't want to see an entire category of classics, okay? Um, I also don't want to see a category of guns that are basically the same as that fucking thing in this game, okay? I, last that pissed me off um, the last couple of years because we've been basically cycling through the same guns, okay? Cold War, Model for 2019, Model for 2, and Model for 3 all have the, basically the same guns with some additions and minuses in some locations, right? Um... But, like, I don't want to see another M4 or MP5 in the next game. I really, truly don't. I want to see something unique. I want to see something different. If you want to add the MP5 or the M4 or something down the line as a DLC gun, that's 100% acceptable, I think. That's fair. But um, I think adding a DLC gun like that the first season or having that shit at launch is just going to be... It's just kind of boring, man. It's like, it's, like, it's like, if I wanted to use that, I'll just play NW2 2022 because that was the better game with those weapons, right? Um, going forward, I do want to see a couple remakes for Gunwise coming out. I want to see the Commando be remade from uh, Black Ops 1. I want to see the XMC brought back. I do want to happen to want to see the, um, the Ballista brought back as well. I think that'd be really cool. Again, the Ballista is going to be kind of weird because it's not the same movement mechanics. And I'm, that part of the, the, the Ballista's whole thing was its movement, right? Um, but yeah, there's some, there's some remakes that are fine. Uh, I think that's perfectly acceptable. I just think they, uh, better focus more on actually doing new stuff because it's way healthier. Now, this is going to be Black Ops 6 tour taking place during the Gulf War era, so we're probably going to see a lot of M of high at M16, uh, or different versions of M16s, uh, because that was the standard issue rifle during the Gulf War. It was the, the M16A3, I believe. Um, also going forward, I would like to see battle passes in the item shop go away and honestly i'd rather see supply drops take part this is a big one i know it's a big ass probably most people will probably hate me for this but i'm sorry supply drops were better than the item shop in the battle pass combined um because you guys are getting scammed on the battle passes and the item shops you are you're getting scammed and i i've been scammed by call of duty <laughs> like, i i've been scammed on black ops 3 i spent over three thousand dollars on black ops 3 during its life cycle uh trying to get you know supply drop guns um, so trust me, I, I know how bad it can get on supply jobs, and y'all are getting scammed on these bundles. Um, there's a reason why they refuse to tell you the prices of each individual item on the on, on item shop bundles. There's a reason. Straight up, there's a reason. Um, because they know they're charging ungodly amounts of COD points per bundle, uh, per item. So I, really, I want to see them go away with that. Um, I, I want to see them go away with that. Straight up. Also, going forward, I want to see Campaign get some love, man. Give Campaign some love. I know everyone bitches and moans about zombies, bro. No one gives a fuck, okay? If they're going to have round base, they're not going to have round base. Who actually cares? And if you don't like the new round base or the new style of zombies or whatever it may be, go play something else. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to be real. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but the Campaign needs some love because the Campaign has suffered this past year. Um... And it's been suffering for quite a while. It hasn't been the same. Like, playing in the last, like, five years of campaigns, playing at first playing World War II or AW or Ghost or Modern 2 or Black Ops 2, is just not the same. Um, and I really want them to bring back that feeling again. Um, so, really, I really hope they, they fix their whole campaign issue. Um... Also, going forward, I really hope Warzone gets put on the back burner. We, no one cares about Warzone, bro. I'm sorry. If you're a Warzone player, that's fine. You play Warzone on this game, not on the next game. Leave Warzone in the past. We move on from Warzone. It, it, it takes no skill. It's a, a mode that siphons all the fun out of MP because we don't get as much content. Um, zombies and that and the campaign all get put on back burners because they're focused on the Warzone. Fuck Warzone. Get rid of it. Put it on the shelf. Lock it. Put it in the safe. Put the whole damn safe in another safe, lock that safe, and then toss it into the Atlantic Ocean, ocean into the Marianas Trench, alright? Just get rid of it. Go away. No one likes you. Um, if you're a Warzone player, and you're mad about that, skill issue. I'll be real. Skill issue. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all that I can think of that would be insanely important. 
obviously there's small features that I really hope that continue to come or come. Uh, first off, the I have ability to sit and mark camos and challenges to see them in game i hope that continues i hope that gets improved i hope we can get the 10 items per match to see and i hope that um we can at some point down the line just straight up see the camo challenges in game that would be the the most insane w that we could possibly get um especially for us camo grinders it would be nice to see the camo just in game say hey if you pull up a gun and you pull up the stats, you can just switch to camos and you can actually see the camos live in game. Even if you can't switch them, as much as I'd love to have the option to switch camos in game too, um, like even just having the ability to just see them, right? It could just even be the name and then the challenge underneath. It doesn't have to actually even show a picture, right? It could just literally be like, hey, this is platinum. This is the challenge for platinum. That literally all it has to do. Uh, that would be great. Um, the ability to not have to re like just the, the ability to fix uh, calling cards. Uh, I don't even know how I'm stuttering at how to fix this because it's so annoying. Um, my calling cards keep getting reset for favorites every time I restart my game. So fuck me. Um, but I really want to see them improve calling cards because uh, I want to see them have a, a meaning again, right? Um, because no one's really looking at the showcase, so I want to see calling cards in the lobby, man. I want to be able to pick three calling cards and have a showcase, right? Um, like the old days, right? If you go back to some of the old cards, you used to be able to see calling cards in the lobby, right? Like multiple calling cards in a row, right? Or if you click on the name, you see one, and then if you scroll again, you would see multiple calling cards, right? And emblems, etc., etc. KDs, win losses, etc. Uh, I really want to see that come back, man. I, I want to see that. Not because I wouldn't, you know, not, not because I think KD or win loss or anything like that's important, um, because it's not. It's pretty much irrelevant, uh, especially in today's age. But um, I don't know. It just adds, adds. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain. It just adds something to the experience. You know, it just it makes it feel better um, to see that type of stuff. Um, and yeah, I just I wish that was a thing. You know, I really do. I wish it was a thing. Um, going forward. Uh, you know, if they want to add better settings, I would like to see more setting options. NW3 has a great list of options for you guys in settings, and I made videos on that in the past. Um, but I really want to see more settings. I want to see more in-depth settings, like more field of view changes. I want to see the, I want to make the BV able to change the color of my hit fire reticle, which is that little, uh, well, like white triangle you see on the screen when I'm shooting. Uh, and that dot. I want to be able to change the color of those. I want to make them red or blue or green. I want to make them be able to change them colors. Like Battlefield has that feature, and I think that's a great feature. It adds some personalized nation, adds some personalization to it, right? It makes it better. Um, just like how you can change the colors of your HUD, right? You can change. Uh, like I have my enemies dark red. I have my teammates dark blue. My parties, I think yellow, um, and then I'm a lime green color for my character. So super personalized i just wish we could do that for more things okay going forward um i always say more the better yeah, like the with the, the graphical settings etc or controller settings etc you can't go wrong with having more options you can only have a benefit effect okay um one thing going forward too that'd be really nice to see i don't know how they would do it um but would be a way to um turn burst fires into full autos i know there's a setting sort of like that right now where if you hold on the trigger it just keeps shooting the burst continuously but i would like to see them do a thing where um, either in a mode or in the settings option you can literally just turn off burst weapons and turn burst into full um i know that's kind of counterproductive since they are considered burst weapons and they're supposed to be burst but i find it would be fine pretty interesting if you could run around with an m16 full auto i know right now we're getting uh next week we're getting a conversion kit for that for the m16 but again like there's some guns at the famaz and the dg58 that really or gg56 sorry that really need the the help when it comes to firing by the way, if you have anything that you would like to know down below, like you would like to see or want in the game, let me know down below. I'm very interested to see what you guys want. Um, I I want certain things from my experience. Uh, I'm, you know, I've put almost a thousand, over a thousand hours now into this game, um, and so I've been really just some of these things have been really itching at me that I want. Um, obviously. Uh, you know, I've wanted some of these things in the past, and some of them have not come to fruition, like, you know, removing SBMM and EOMM. Um, but there's some, there's probably some things I didn't think of that would be really cool. Maybe you thought of something that would be really, really fucking dope, 
and uh, if maybe your comment will get spotted by Activision, who knows? So make sure you let it down below if you have something cool that you think would be unique. Um, I would like to see more score streaks, man. I really do. I want them to add score streaks not only in this game but future titles. I I don't I don't like how we're so limited in score streaks. This has been a problem in Call of Duty for years. This is not something with a new age. This has been like this. It's been like this since back in all the way back until COD Four. Hell, COD Four, you only got three streaks. Period. Um, which is really it's annoying. I, I don't like that. I, I want to see more streaks. I want to I want to have so many options for streaks that it frustrates me to pick. Okay, that's what I want. I want to have so many options that I don't know what to fucking pick. Um, because right now, a lot of the streaks in this game are boring. That's why I've been using the Swarm, Advanced UAV, and UAV. Because otherwise, everything else is boring. Um, well, who knows? I would like to see the Tactical Nuke return as well. Um, the Tactical Nuke needs to return 110%. I don't like this 30, 30 kill nuke streak thing. This is stupid. Um, 30s have never been my fun thing. Um, the only game I've ever had enjoyed going for the 30 bombers was um, Advanced Warfare with the DNA bomb. Also, just a rumor here, apparently the DNA bomb has been found in Marvel for 3's um, files, so we may be seeing a 30 kill tactical nuke coming in the near future. Who knows? I'm just wishing to the universe for that. Um, but I definitely do feel that uh, we need a tactical nuclear 25 like we had at Infinite back again and what we had in World War II because um, the 30 is just annoying to get in this game, especially with the SPMM and the OMM, right? Especially. But with that being said, I've been talking now for 20 minutes and I know you guys are probably tired of listening to my fat ass talk. So I'm going to end the video here. I appreciate everyone that's been stopping by recently. We're almost at 500 subs. I don't know what's up with YouTube. It kept saying that I hit 500, but I wasn't. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I thought maybe someone s subbed to 500 and then unsubbed, uh, but it, it literally didn't. Like, I was looking at my stats on YouTube refreshing, and it literally just wasn't hitting 500 at all. Like, it didn't touch 500 the whole time. So, I have no idea what happened on YouTube's end. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for all the love and support recently. You guys have been nailing this when it comes to views and likes and comments and all that good stuff, man. And I can't be more thankful for y'all um some of y'all are from in games and i know some of y'all that play with me in game that are probably watching these videos are probably super um confused because i'm such a different person on camera but this is more my natural self uh when i'm on game i'm more chaotic and more um crazy and and, and, and triggery uh than i am in reality but um if you guys have stuck through the video the whole way i'd much appreciate it if you guys could drop me a like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff i mean you already sat through the whole video so you know just saying um but i i truly from the bottom of my heart i love you all so much for the con for the, all the love like I, I literally it's been such an honor to to see the channel being so successful um it's been what nine years now uh, but i've been doing this i've been doing this since like 2016 um and We've had our ups and downs throughout the years of different, you know, views being up, views being down, videos being up, videos being down, and just etc. Right? Um, we've had rough times where we lost multiple subs, and we've had times where we gained multiple subs. Um, and it's really nice to see that we're on a steady increase now when it comes to views and subs and likes and comments and all that stuff. And I really do appreciate that because at the end of the day, man, I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Most YouTubers will say the numbers don't matter. They do. They absolutely do matter, right? Like if, I, if I'm seeing the videos are not doing well, that that hurts me, uh, like when it comes to my morale, right? But when I see videos are doing well, it just makes me want to do more videos and do better quality videos, right? Um, now, our 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 you know likes and sh stuff and views and stuff the most important thing? No, absolutely not. But um, to say they don't ex they don't matter it would be a lie, right? Because they do matter at the end of the day. I do care about how well the videos are doing. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys might care too. Um, there's some of you guys that I know out there that have been watching every single video every single day, and y'all are motherfucking top G's. I'm gonna say that y'all motherfucking top G's. Yeah, if 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 you were if if Andrew Tate was right here on this on this video right now, he would say you're top G's, bro. That's what he would say, man. But um, yeah, it's just nice to see that the videos are doing well. Um, if there's something you guys want to see, again, let me know down below. Uh, there's not many things I won't do for y'all. Um, I won't post any titty pics for y'all. Well, maybe. If that's something y'all really, really want. 
But, um, like, when it comes to gaming, there's not much I won't do. If you guys want me to play a game, even if I don't have it, I will figure out <laughs> ways to get it unless I, unless I absolutely can. But otherwise, for the most part, I'll try to get it for you guys. Um, unless you guys want me to play Modern for 2019. Then you guys are shit out of luck. No, not happening. Not happening at all. <laughs> but, um, I'm yapping again. This is... Welcome to my channel, for everyone that's new. I, I do this all the time. I just yap, and I just don't stop yapping, bro. It's, it's horrible. But with that being said, man, I'm going to end it here. I love you guys, and um, new videos coming soon. And, yeah, love you guys, one of a kind, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.